Okay, greetings everybody. Welcome back to Serious Creepers Adventures in Septic Ages. I was gonna say the Between Lands almost, but no, nope, it's not quite just that. There's more to this. Uh, I'm getting ready to go downstairs into the cave. I'm recording this right after the last episode, like I mentioned in the last episode too, that I was going to do this. So we shall do this. Um, I'm just preparing a little bit. We have the Sigil of Light thing here, so I'm gonna use this for torches, but I'll still bring uh, some of the other things and actually I'm gonna make more arrows. I do have a bow now from the uh, between lands, which is nice uh, But it does require these special bows uh, arrows. You can make a couple of them You can make these angler tooth ones. You can also do let's see the between land arrow uh, You can make these octine for example. This one says use with cautions. So I'm guessing it set things on fire But I don't think I want to use them right now. So we're just gonna go with uh, Just the normal ones. It helps a little bit. It's not amazing. I don't have many arrows, but every little bit counts at this point. Uh, okay, so we want our food. Now we have both grain and protein up, which is awesome. If we look at this food-wise, fruit, for example, from this uh, dimension, I kind of want to stick with most things from this dimension just because it's more fun a little bit, you know. But hey, if I find something better, then I, I wouldn't mind just switching out. Um, there is this candy and stuff. I don't know. I don't think we can make this. I'm not sure. Uh, there's also jello. We don't have sludge yet. We have to find this. We can't make this either. Yeah, it's all requires sludge. Mince pie. Not sure how to get it. There's no recipe right now. Maybe just a dungeon item. Or white pears. White pears we can actually get. And it sounds like to get white pears, you have to find hangers. Oh, these are the hangers, right? Yes. So do I just break these? Uh, I wonder if we need a sickle for those. Let's see. Do I have shears at least? Maybe we can shear them. Uh, scanning my inventory. My very messy inventory. I do not see shears. Don't see them in there. I have... Oh, yeah. I have a second uh, backpack. It's a gold one. It's as, it's as big as the other one, but it's a little bit cheaper to make. Well, it's not cheaper, but it doesn't require a lot of leather, which is what I like, because I always run out of that stuff so quickly. Oh yeah, and someone said you can actually find a villager that trades leather, so we might have to do this at one point. But since I'm like kind of in the between lands now, I think I'll just focus on this a bit. Uh, let's see, I we're supposed to get pears from this or pear seeds. Now I don't know if you just break these or you know if you use a sickle. Although it says they're supposed to hang from these big trees, right? Those guys. But I don't know. Let me just go around a little bit and see if I can find some. Yeah, neither bashing nor shearing them seems to give me what I need. So, you know what? Let's make a sickle. There's actually a thing here that's supposed to give you different kinds of things when you harvest them. The only problem is it requires three valonites. So, that's really expensive for us right now. Because all, we only have six. But, hey, if that gives me better food, I wouldn't mind trying this out. Uh, there's none in here, right? Swamp kelp. What does a swamp kelp use for? Is it just comp compost or is it... Oh, you can make fried. Oh, this gets vegetable. Oh, sick. I need to get these too, because vegetable is something we are missing too. Ground swamp kelp. Okay. So I may actually get these too. They should be just like underwater, but we'll try. So we have the sickle here. Is there anything you can do with this? I uh, don't think so. You can repair it and stuff. We haven't looked into repairing items yet though. Uh, let's go back to the other one over here. It's a little bit more of a land, I guess. Not really. <laughs> well, let's see if I break this. Oh! Uh, I'm a druid. Oh, I got a different type of hanger now. Okay. So, I think these are, like, somehow used for the alchemy system in this. I don't quite know how this works yet, but let's see. Can I get them like this? Nah, okay, but, like, these are different hangers. So, ground hanging. Nah. But yeah, this is interesting. So the sickle gives you different stuff. See, like, usually we can shear this, right? And we get normal moss, like this. But if you use the sickle, you get this moss. So I don't know how different this is. But again, I, I'm guessing this has to do with the alchemy stuff. Uh, okay, we have to find the seeded hanger. So there's two different kinds. These have, like, little blobs on them. Okay, good to know. All right, I'm gonna go back to trying to find those things in a bit, but I just remembered that I wanted to try out the Simurite Shield because with this one, and also let's switch our ammo, uh, outfit here again. Uh, let's take the rubber ones. So with this one, you can, like, shift right-click to charge or something. Oh, yeah, look. 
Uh, and then let ship go, maybe? <laughs> okay, that's cool. I'm not holding anything. I'm just setting low go of shift and then he like dashes forward. That's awesome. I wonder if that like hits them or something. I also wish we could lower the shield a little bit visually, but I'm not sure if that's possible. Okay, time to tr try to find those hangers again. Oh, here's a poor victim. That just killed him entirely. Wow, I wonder how much damage that actually does. Oh, there's a white. Um, so I learned that the whites can't actually see you if you sneak, but I mean, he just saw me, so... Oh, I think the frog attacks too. He just jumped at the enemy while I was attacking too, so... Maybe. Okay, this is are these hangers too, or are these like vines? Uh, those are hangers too. Okay, those are anglerfish. I don't see any seeded ones. I looked at the wiki and it says apparently um, giant weedwood trees have the seeded ones. But on the picture it just looked like a normal weedwood. What's a beam? Oh, it's just a glitch. Um, normal seed uh, weedwood tree. So I don't know if that's still accurate or if you have to find that really, really big one we haven't found yet at all. So. May have to do a little bit of exploration here. I'm just gonna run around and see if I can find something. Cause like here's a weedwood tree, but these are these are not these hangers. Those are like poison ivy. Those are the hangers here, but I don't see a seeded one. Oh hey, there's another uh, head where we can find some treasures. Awesome. Problem is again, this guy is just gonna run off like crazy. So maybe I'll make a little diggy hole here as well for him. Perfect parking. My parking skills are amazing. A chest. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not amazing, but you know, I'll take it. Oh, I think I see another one over in the distance. We actually want to find something very specific in those. Ideally, something that will make our life so much easier right away. Well, it, it has a chance to make our life so much easier right away. Uh, ooh, this is really good though. Lots of arrows, but uh, not quite what I was looking for. Actually, I should just pick up these chests too. Oh, okay, we are in this like swampy area. There's something we need from here too for an achievement, I think. Is this peat? Yes, we need peat. This is kind of like netherrack. You can set it on fire and it's supposed to keep the fire the whole time. Tot, come back. Oh, another hat. Ooh, ooh, this is some good stuff. Valonite shards, more of them. A couple of arrows and also a white heart. Now I tried to fight, well, I did fight a couple of vi uh, whites before and I killed them, like I managed to actually kill them, but none of them have dropped a heart. I was pretty unlucky with that so far. Uh, so I'm not sure what's up with that, unfortunately, but hey, we got some now, which is awesome. <gasps> oh, there's the tree, there's the tree, the giant one. Oh, and there's a couple of ruins. Oh, and one of those like fog things, uh, that like swarm that I thought looked like a portal at first. It's actually like a swarm of something. Yeah, the frog just kills these guys, that's awesome. You're so good, Todd. Um, don't use it anywhere near good stuff. <laughs> yes, I had experience with these guys on a live stream before. It was hilarious. Um, they are indeed very angry pebbles. Yeah, so this... Uh, I don't know if I want to fight this. But there's a giant tree we needed. Let me go... There it is. We go a little bit away. I don't know if we can shoot these, but you know what? What we're gonna do before we do anything is make this a marker. So let me see where did that thing go? That far? Because I want to make sure we get rid of it first. Because it took me out like very, very quickly. I don't see it anymore. Oh, is it over there? Nope. That scares me even more that I can't see it now. Okay, but there's some pots here. That's really good. These pot of luck. Uh, they can have some items. Oh, there's also ruins over in this way. Oh, that, there's that fog. Okay. Okay, we have some stuff to explore here. Damn! One shot at her. Okay. So let's see what we get here. We have to break these. Oh, termite. Can you take care of these? I don't know if he attacks on his own. Uh, let's see. What do we get here? There's something very specific we want to get. Let's see if we can be lucky. Ooh, that look like some good stuff, maybe. Yeah, the frog just killed them. More of those arrows. I'm kind of worried that stuff will fall down there. And I don't see it, but it seems to be okay. And more 
sulfur, right? Nothing else. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's good, you know, to have. Okay, let's go to the other ruins super quick, and then we go check out the giant tree. Oh, there's more ruins over there too. Oh, boy. This is good, though. This is what we want to do. We want to explore. We want to find some new. There's some really good stuff we need to get. The only problem is, is there a spawner here? I hope not. Having no spawner makes this so much easier. There's not. A, there's no pot here, though, is there? Uh, now, I wonder if there's stuff below. You know? Maybe there's some secret down. Downstairs. I'll leave it for now. Oh, there's a spawner on the left side. That's the spawner room. And there's one of those forks. Let's see if we can attack this with arrows. I hit something. Yes, we did. Oh, snap. Oh, it's up there. I see. Oh, it's using the octane arrows right now. Okay, so you can hit it. Yeah, and we killed it. Sweet. Now, I don't know if that drops anything. It may. Oh, get my arrows back. Wait, is this real? Can we get this? Usually they disappear. Oh, we can! It's a wisp. Usually they disappear when I get close to them. It's really cool how, like, when you get near to these things, that it shows you, like, you know, ruins and stuff. It always scares me, though. It's, it, it looks like a white or something. Okay, more arrows. Termite. Uh, yeah, you fall down there. That's good. Let's climb this. Whoops. The climbing claw is so useful. Nope, still didn't get what I want. But we're getting a bunch of these arrows. I'm actually going to put these away because I don't want to use them. Okay. Uh, maybe we go over to the dungeon one too. Because that one has a chest. But it's going to be tricky maybe. <gasps> Is it a white spawner? That's the worst. Oh, but that's also cool. If we can if we can set up an auto farm over there. Or like a spawner thing where we can just farm these guys. I wonder if, we sh if that's actually a spawner for whites. It's almost tempting <laughs> to turn this into a mob spawner. Whoops. Okay, he's dead. Oh man, this this toad is the best. Nice, buddy. And did we get a heart? Well, it's going to be difficult to see, maybe. Sure wish we had a magnet. Did we get a heart from him? No. Unless it's in the water again. But yeah, it's really... Oh, no, that's rotten food. But maybe he's in there. Oh, shit. That was a bad time to jump off my toad. Come here, Todd. It's gonna be really difficult, though. Do we have any blocks on me? Swamp dirt. We have we have light that we can shoot from a distance, so... Should probably use that to our advantage. Uh, let's try to... There it is! <gasps> Ooh, we got really good stuff. We got really good stuff. Okay, let's get out of here. Wait, what's this? Is that like a hack? Whatever? Yeah, the hack hacker. Okay, this is a good thing. We can only find this from loot, we, and we can't repair this, I don't think. No. Uh, but basically, you can one-shot swamp hacks with this, so that is amazing. And the scroll is the other thing I wanted to find. Because some of these items, I'm going to put this away so it doesn't get corroded. Um, you can... These scrolls you put into the animator, and it has a random chance to give you any of these items. And like, you know, the swamp hack, or the... Uh, what is it called? The... Hack, hack hacker is one of those items that you could get from there. There's also one that kills whites in one hit, which is, you know, amazing. So we definitely want to get that eventually. Okay, there's our pothead advan uh, advancement because we broke 10 pots. Huh, there was another scroll. Yes, we have two now. Awesome. We're going to have to go and check these out. So maybe we'll just do this for now. Setting up a white farm because the white hearts are really useful for something later. So having those would be... Awesome. Yep, yep. It definitely spawned on top. Okay, awesome. Oh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I kind of want to mark this, though. Oh, while he's in the water, I guess I quickly mark this. Cool. Alright, let's go to the tree. Alright, perfect timing for it to get dark. Not. It's awful. Uh, but yeah, we're here. Now, there is something about this tree, too. I think if you punch it... You may anger some things that will come and attack you. So, I don't know if you want to do that, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, I think there is something in there too that we need. So, oh yeah, and you can see some of these now have these like cedar things. So this is the stuff we need. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we'll find a spot for you somewhere. I guess inside the tree would be nice, but again, there might... Something might spawn. Well, let's give it a shot, I guess. 
Oh, I think we just did it. I got the achievement. Oh, hey. You're not the one I was looking for. There it is. Shooting fire at us. Over there. The pirate, I think, or something. It's like a fire thing. Ooh. Come on, frog. Oh, you're getting hurt. You're getting hurt, buddy. I'm sorry. I don't know if I can heal you. I hope I can. Maybe with wings or something. Oh, wow. <laughs> he just fell into the water. I don't know how much health these have, but they do shoot. They're kind of like blazers, I guess. I wonder if I should have... Oh, are you dead? Wow, that's a cool death animation. Nice. Awesome. Did we get anything? Uh, It doesn't look like it. My inventory is a mess though, so who knows. Alright, Froggy, you're gonna stay here for now, okay? There we go. So only I can go, go in, but you can't. Excuse me. Go with the tot. Alright, have some light. There we go. Good job. Don't go anywhere, please. Otherwise, I'm kind of stranded. Alright, let's see if we can get some of these things we need. They're pretty high up, but we have the slime sling, so maybe we can just catapult ourselves up there. That didn't quite work, but almost. The server hadn't lagged there for a second. I totally could have made it. There we go. Maybe... Oh, I'm stuck on here now. Perfect. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Do we have our shears? Yes, we do. I don't know if we need the shears, but I'll... Well, that gives us hangers. So I'm guessing... Not the shears. Okay. Let's not use the shears then. And ideally, let's try not to anger the... The wood people, you know? <laughs> Whatever. I'll just put locks down rather than... Taking them. There it is! Wow, we got the pear seeds! Awesome! We can make some fruits now. What an adventure just to get these. Alright, we are back home. I'm just making more of these compost bins because it does take quite a while. Wait, how do you... Nope, not like this. Let's just put two more here so we can get this stuff going because we need the compost for farming stuff. And I also kind of need a little bit of a spot where we can farm. I don't have a good spot, but I was thinking originally to do this right here behind our house and okay that's not a good sound is that a swamp hack because we have something for that let's add a coding though before we use it just like this okay come on and boom look at this so good just one hit and it's dead you know ah this is gonna be awesome because there's dungeons in here too that we later need to tackle and Having something like this is going to be super easy. So let me go maybe make a little bit of a garden here and then we check this stuff out. Oh, I always wonder how to get these poison glands because you can make poison arrows out of them. You have to kill those poison frogs. That makes sense. Actually, let's use actual lambs here and not the blood lambs. Just looks nicer. Ah, uh, that's a shame. So uh, there, we have this mod in here called Tall Fence Gate. It makes like two high fences and they open like at the same time. But it looks like there is no version of it for the uh, for the uh, weed wood. Because that would have been awesome to have that here. But unfortunately we can't. So I might do something like this. Upside is that I don't think sw uh, swamp hacks can break these down. I'm sneaking. See if I sneak, he stopped following me. Because he doesn't know about me now. Kind of want to kill him. But he's probably going to kill me. I... Maybe if I get you into the water, Die. yes, then I have the upper hand. Nice, we got him. Oh, he dropped the heart. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I've seen one. Ooh, it's so dark. I think it's here. I think it is. He dropped something else. I'm not sure what that was though. Was it a heart? It was. This is my first heart I found from someone. Oh, I got a frog like two from that frog. Interesting. Oh, rotten food. I think that's what he drops. Oh, look who wants to visit my garden. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. This is already slightly corroded, so I'm gonna have to, like, clean this as well. Well, I guess not really, because it still kills them in one hit. Okay, so here's our area. Uh, how are we gonna light this up? I'm not quite sure yet. I guess we put them on here. Man, I drank coke before this. I really should stop doing that, because it gives me the burps. It's not good for making videos or talking in general. Uh, let's also get some swamp water. Oh, well, actually, I have real water. I wanted to see what happens if we place real water in here. Nothing special, okay? Because I'm thinking I may add a Better With Mods uh, water wheel here and a saw so I can actually cut down these locks a bit easier. Otherwise, I always have to go back uh, into the overworld and do this. But we do have a bucket here. The cool thing about the water in this dimension is, is that it's actually infinite. It regenerates 
Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four, right? Well, it's hard to see. Yeah. So let's put this in here. And uh, you know what? It may not even need water. I'm not entirely sure if it does in this mod or not. But I'll do it just, you know, to be safe. And now, uh, let's put this away. We need our compost. Do I still have some? We have seven here. It's not a lot, unfortunately. We also need these spores. And we need our white pear seeds. And black mushrooms. What else can we plant? I want to see if we can plant these guys. Those are these blue flowers we found. And they give this petal. Um, what is it called? Is it a petal? These guys. The weeping blue petal. Because if you eat this, you get... Oh, you can make candy. You, oh, and a salad. Oh, look at this. Uh, this doesn't have nutrition. That's weird. wonder if they missed that. But you get uh, a buff that refills your corrosion meter at the bottom, which is pretty awesome. Why is rotten food not compostable? That kind of seems silly. And I'm not entirely sure what else we can plant. So, oh, these guys maybe. We'll try out. Sure, we'll try some of this. How's our compost doing here? We got more again. Uh, okay, let's grab this. Okay, so what we have to do now is we can right click these and it's similar to, you know, how you would use a hoe in the overworld, but it makes these little cool patches and you need a shovel. You don't need, um, you know, you don't need a hoe for this. So that's kind of nice. You can just use the shovel you already have for this. It makes these patches. And to actually grow stuff, you have to fertilize them with compost. You just click once and it creates this little, um, <laughs> Mr. Compost, little, you know, uh, what would you call it? Fertilized spot or something? I don't know. But uh, you can now plant stuff on here. And, and these last for uh, three grows. So every time this thing grows three times to completion, then the compost goes away and you have to like reapply this. So I suppose it's, you don't need a ton of it. If you just keep up with making this, you probably have more than enough. But um, it's nice to do that. To just have a bunch of this and so i'm gonna plant some of these i want a couple of these white pears uh because we can you know make food out of this we're gonna try to plant these now i don't know if this is gonna work though but we'll try it may spread to other areas too that's another thing that this does like it can spread so for example these flowers i want to see if this one will spread to the neighboring chunks here uh, or spots um and then we can like you know farm these a little bit and then also these spores we want to farm. Let's place them. You know what? Let's put them here, actually. These spores you get from killing those little mushroom guys. We've seen them a few times. They have, like... Remember remember we saw them on these, like, giant roots? Great. Uh, they, um, they run away from you. They're harmless. But if you kill them, you get these spores. And we can grow these as well. And then you get, like, these guys here. So I don't know if there's a special use for whatever they drop. But I just wanted to see... And if we don't want to wait, uh, instead of using bone meal, we have to use... Where is it? I have some. This stuff, the ground, dried ground swamp. No, what is it? Ground dried swamp breed. It's just like cook up the swamp breed, grind it down, you get this. It's kind of like the bone meal of this world. If you want to grow saplings or anything, you use this stuff. So we can apply this to the plants too. You can see they grow. And is that the full max? There we go. Now it has fruits. And if I right click... now nah, I think I have to break them, right? Oh, shit. I don't think it was ripe. Whoops. I uh, may have to wait one more time. I wonder, actually, if our watering can works on this. Oh, maybe it is working. Oh! The rain destroys your crops. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I just learned something. That is not good. Okay, I'm just gonna do this for now. That's a bit of a shame. So we lost something, yeah. Unless we didn't actually lose this. I'll have to see, because this water goes away after a while, and you can't actually... Like, aim at it. It's not a thing. Oh, yeah, look, the spread. Okay, cool. So we can spread these. Ah, look at these dried swamp kelps. Nice. Getting our veggies up. Perfect. Oh, I forgot our black mushrooms, too. Oh, no! <laughs> um. Okay, so rain spreads to the side as well, it looks like. Ah, what a bummer. So we need to cover this entire thing and make sure... The rain does not get in here. God damn it. Well, while that is like destroying all of our crops. Wait, did it just stop? Nope. Uh, let's look into the animator as well. So we can check out some of these scrolls. So to make this, it requires a white heart. So we're actually pretty lucky that we got this. Because I didn't even check if we needed this or not. I was just like, yeah, I want this. Give me this. But we got lucky. Let's make one. Okay. 
And it's getting really messy here. I guess I can remove some of these. There's actually a way to automate these, I saw. There's a slot up here. If you find a life crystal, you can put this in here and it will automatically do its thing. And we have to go find uh, life crystals soon. They're down in the, uh, in the pitstone area, I believe. So everything is down in the pitstone area. Definitely want to explore it. I was hoping we could do this today, but I feel like it's getting really late already. So we may not. We may. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, treasures. So there are these scrolls. So how does this work exactly? You just put them in there. Oh, you need a life crystal. Oh. Never mind. Well, I guess we're gonna go mine. Alright, yeah, well, I'm not like super excited <laughs> about going down here. Because I can almost, I'm like 90% sure I'm gonna die if I go down here. But it is necessary. We have to do it. Hopefully with the lamp. Uh, it's going to be a bit easier. Good thing I have my boots on. And I should have a whole way down to Pitstone. It's right there. So uh, I guess the episode is going to be a little bit longer today. Maybe make up for... Well, actually, yesterday's episode was probably super long too, wasn't it? Can we do this in the offhand and then do it? Yes. Oh, this is going to help though. We can also turn on F7 so we can actually see the ground. And I guess we try this. Oh, one thing. Oh, I forgot something. I'll be right back. I was cleaning my axe and totally forgot that it's still in here. Oh, wait. This only has 30 durability? Oh, or 32. So you can only use it on a couple of hacks. That is not amazing. So maybe I only use it if I have to. All right, here we go. Let's see how that goes. I guess we may as well grab some of these things. Although at the same time, the, the one thing I want is... Um, Valorite because we still want to make an, uh, an full armor set because that would make this so much easier because it has uh, what's it called? Uh, it's, it's not protection. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, whoa, 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 you can shoot them with this. What that's my lamp, right? I'm not hitting with this thing. 535. Five. I guess it does set things on fire, doesn't it? Maybe it does use blood, I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, oh god, the lag. No lag. But yeah, we want to get the Valorite, because it has that... Uh, uh, what's it called? Absorption, maybe? Something like that. Like that secondary armor bar. Uh, which... It, ooh, don't go into this. This is stagnant water. It uh, drains your... Or increases your corrosion quite a bit. Um, but yeah, it, it, it protects you from like hard-hitting attacks. And that's what these guys do. Right, like a lot of attacks deal like five damage of uh, hearts or five hearts of damage, and the uh, the the absorption or whatever it's called, can't think of the name right now. It it kind of like lowers these type of attacks. It's not it's not good against like uh, weak attacks, but it's really good against strong attacks. So having that would be amazing. I always have a hard time hitting these guys for some reason. See, I don't know why. I just don't know why. Oh, there's some. I need this. I need this. I'm totally going to go get uh, go out of my way to get this stuff because, you know. Oh, this is even a lot too. Nice. Oh, crap. Okay, so that is four, which is nice. I still have seven at home. So hopefully, I'm just really hoping we can make a full set and the weapons. I probably should have made the weapon, to be honest. That would probably help quite a bit here too. Just being, oh, just being able to defend ourselves more. Oh, and the green gems. So many things I could have done better. It's okay. We'll see how this goes. I like how if you have this in your offhand, it still shoots it out of your <laughs> main hand. But hey, this mod is still... Blood magic is still an alpha, I believe, so... Surprised it's actually in this. Okay, so this is water. I think... There are these, like, underwater caves, too. And I think that's maybe where you find these life crystals, I believe. At least that's what I've seen so far from, like, other people. Yeah, it's, so there are these stalactites down here. Oh, there's anglerfish too. And if they have, if they have like a specific thing in the center, that means you can get a life crystal from it. And with our swim armor, we can probably just jump in there and get that stuff quickly. Oh, my helmet just broke. Well, that's not great, is it? Okay, is there any life crystal here? I don't see them, but this goes quite a bit down there too. Yeah, I don't see anything down here directly, so I guess we go back to land and explore this, unless maybe on this side. Oh, here's a structure. Here's one of those ruined buildings where we can find those pots. 
and stuff as well. I do hear hacks. It's a bit scary. Okay, this is water. I switched to my other set too, but we, you know, lost the helmet. Oh, we can make a new helmet right now. There we go. Now I feel a little bit safer again. Oh, there's a life crystal. Okay, 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 okay. Let me just get organized here a bit. Okay, so I see a life crystal down in this water here. That's the one. Whoops, can we light this up a bit? No, this thing there. This is what we need to break. You saw a little bit of white stuff there. There we go, life crystal. 99% remaining. Okay, let's put this into the back. I don't know if they like expire over time or if you have to, uh, you know, use them. But I think putting things into the bag generally prevents things from... Oh, wow, lepers. From uh, being used up, so... Oh, there was a green gem kicking in and we got some uh, absorption there. That's what absorption is, right? The health. Still don't know what I'm talking about, what the other thing is from armor. Oh, there's a stupid snail. Oh wow, we got another protection there. Oh, it just... does that stay? Absorption? No, it doesn't stay. It goes away after a while. Oh, Valorite! Yes, I found some. Oh, and a ruin. Uh, okay, there's one pot. Beats no pot. Ah, uh, not the best loot <laughs> so far. But uh, I'm sure we'll get better stuff eventually. Let's make sure we get that Valorite though. Up to eight now. Ooh, this is a big structure here. A couple of pots. Oh, another one. Right there. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Termite. Oh, another scroll. Awesome. And Valorite. Oh, I wonder how much that is. Am I even saying this right? Is it Valorite? It's four. Valonite, sorry. Dude, I tell you, the green gems, holy crap, they're good. Okay, so we have 12 plus 7 at home, 21, close to full armor set. Oh, there's a spawner here. Is it a slug spawner? Or is it a uh, uh, hack spawner? I think it's one of those slugs here that spawned there. Ah, interesting. Oh, it's two buildings too, it's so cool, it's like a... Old ruined city or something down here. Which is perfect because that's exactly what we want to build. Now you might wonder why don't I just make a set of Valonite armor right now or like at least the pieces I can make. I don't want to do this because I want to make sure that we cor oh, corrode them first and don't like use them up right away. I don't know. Maybe I should. <laughs> but now that I said this, my reasoning doesn't seem solid. Cool, we got another scroll though. Oh man, more. How much is that? Three. Oh, good, 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 good. I see more ore up there as well. Awesome. More. Yes. So it's not only me. I'm glad. Because Mora just said that uh, something is wrong with hit detection as well. And, you know, we both played on servers and stuff before. And it feels different than the usual server lag. Uh, it's just like... It, it just seems different. I don't know what it is. He thinks it could be um, the Mobans mod. And I kind of have the impression that it would that oh there's more that that's it as well though the only problem i guess is then or the difference is that you know mobs here for example don't technically use that moban stuff oh i'm gonna jump down there <laughs> i'm gonna get that uh so i don't really know if it's really that but it's just like it seems like it you know so many hacks I'm slowly getting better at fighting them i think just figuring out more how they work why am i dying what why do what <laughs> Why? What's going on? <laughs> Why do I keep getting hit for no reason? Oh my god, if this is good. So many of these guys. I keep getting hit for so for no reason. Oh! <laughs> I get it. It's me. It's my, uh, it's my blood lamb. I'm out of blood at the altar. Well, that confirms uh, my theory. Oh, my question from last time. If like, you know, if this uses up blood, so... Yes, it does. We have 22 plus 7, so we have quite a bit. We can make the full armor set and a weapon, I believe. We need 24 for the set, and then we have a couple of left. So we can make the sword, and then slowly maybe build up the tools. So I think I may head back here, if I can find my way back. Oh, look, our mushroom grew. I think that should be done, right? I don't know if there's a way to, like... No, I think you have to break it. Yeah, we did it. We grew stuff. We got a yellow dotted fungus, that's what we get from this, right? Now we can make this Maya scramble. Look at the saturation, that is insane. And on its own too, for protein, that's so cool. And all these blue mushrooms definitely grew. Okay, but now that we have the life crystal, let's do this super quick. I know it's probably super long this episode, but I want to do this 
Uh, let's put the life crystal in here. No, not there. Right there. We also need some of this. Down there. Okay. And this is the bar for the life crystal right now. So if you put an item in here, you can see it's going to consume this much life. And it looks really fancy. And there we go. It did it. And we got the sludge slicer. Uh, I think this kills uh, slimes in one hit maybe. I'm not 100% sure. That's cool though. See the next one. And again, these you can't craft, so you can only get them from here, and you can't... Um, oh, you can repair them, no? Oh, no, no, you can't. I don't think you can. Some of the items you can actually repair in this thing, too. So if you look up the sword, you can put the sword in here with a live crystal, and it will repair completely. Oh, I ran out of sulfur. This uses a lot of sulfur, it seems. And here's our set of armor, and I made a sword, and we still have three left. So should I make a pickaxe? Yes, I should. Unless we need this for something else. Yeah, I'll make a pickaxe out of it. There we go. And I'm going to put this away for now. And I think I'm going to go try to farm a bunch of green gems. And then just apply them to this. And we also need to coat this. So I need to find more of this stuff. Okay, this time we got... Oh, another sludge slicer. Okay, let's try one more. Yeah, it seems to require 16 sulfur to do it. Oh, an amulet socket. Okay, cool. Can make a new amulet out of it. And the last scroll we have. Last one is a voodoo doll. Okay, I have no idea what this one is for. I may have to look this up online. See what that does. Huh, interesting. Now, of course, we know the life crystal is draining slowly, right? Which is a bit of a shame. But you can use these white hearts then later and repair these, right? And it seems to give, what is that, 13% maybe? So, it's not terrible, but also not amazing. But yeah, you can repair these. Oh, it looks like the watering can might actually work. I was going to set up a totem ritual here, so we could do the sapphire one. But I don't have any drums on me. Also, look how crowded this is right now. This is my nice little garden. I'm going to probably raise this by one. Okay, now I think this one is done. This one looks ready, right? Yes, we can just right-click them and harvest them like this. Cool, we got our pears finally. <laughs> this is all we tried to get today. The pear, so we can make some of this stuff we don't need. But look at this. We can make jam, donuts, five grain, lots of food. And it's just a reed donut with some white pears. Super nice. Or we can just eat them for the fruit, which is also super nice. Yeah. But we're gonna end the episode for today. A super long, perhaps, depending on how I edit this later on. But apologies if it is super long. Unless you like long episodes, then you're welcome, I guess. Um... But I hope you do enjoy this episode. If you do, please, or did, please leave a like. Helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.